Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's go ahead and dive into the energy. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, <clears throat> rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number six. You can see the lover's card kick in, possibly the six of pentacles and or the six of swords. Power of number seven. Maybe we'll get a six, seven, eight. Maybe numbers that are going in succession. You could see the chariot card. Something about forward movement into victory and success. That number seven has been highly significant with a Scorpio lately. Could be something happening between now and July of 2023 of a major change or shift. Feels to me that it's a breakthrough or something that you're needing to happen, Scorpio. Wow. <clears throat> Power of number seven again. So six, seven, seven. Looks like we are going to the number 20 judgment card. Okay. Well, the last reading that we did was all about judgment and not retrieving back. So let's see what let's see about it this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And 20, okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio, of viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy? What is the general collective message, please? What does Scorpio need to know? Mm, it's, wow. Seven of Swords. You might need to be observant at this time. You could feel that maybe a coworker has been sneaky in and around you. Could be a friend. Could be a family member. I don't know, Scorpio. Maybe this is you strategizing. Maybe, I don't know, how to get away with something in particular. There's a lot of crows crows in around this. It's like either you don't want to get caught doing something or it's somebody in and around you. The fool. can't help but not feel that this feels like a co-worker. This feels like a co-worker situation. It's like you also, <clears throat> you also want to dive deep into something else. You're also wanting to take a leap of faith because I got the fool card. You're wanting to take a leap of faith. doing what you're doing, but I don't know. Maybe you have been feeling sneaky lately and you'd be like, Mel, how could you say that? Um, I think this is something that you've been in observation of. I feel it's a person. 
I feel it's a person you've been in observation of, Scorpio, that maybe No, there's something about you wanting to leave. Or this is somebody's attitude or behavior. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Maybe it's a mother figure. Maybe it's an aunt. Um, could be a coworker. Maybe it's a boss lady. Maybe she acts one way and then, then she acts a different way. Mm. Ace of Cups. Somebody may try to also now remove. It's like the energy shifting. It's going into. It's going into uh, romanticism. I feel like I gotta grab my orange juice for this one. <laughs> it's too early in the morning to drink. <laughs> Just kidding. Um. Got to keep my vitamin C up. That Ace of Cups, first of all, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful picture. Somebody feels that maybe they need to sneak off in order to see you. To, you know, take a leap of faith, put themselves out there. I don't know. Somebody here is in love. Let me take a look at this. Ace of Cups. Somebody's ready to pour their heart out as well. Take this leap of faith. It feels like an airy season. Somebody may sneak off to come and see you. you guys I gotta pull out the moonology cards because I get there's an mm, there's some huge expression of love but I'm not gonna disregard like if you've been feeling kind of weird about your co-workers lately <clears throat> or somebody you know snuck off from the job or you know chose not to show up at work They're not meant to be there. But now this is moving in. This is moving definitely in a positive direction. However, I am picking up one description. If you haven't been on... Mm, if you haven't been on speaking terms with certain family members, it almost feels like somebody's going to try to send in a flying monkey in order maybe to get you to open up your heart space. Scorpio, I'm not so sure if that is good. I, mm, mm -mm. Um, I'm picking up something in and around Easter time, and Easter doesn't fall until April April 9th, I believe, 2023. Give me another message from the Seven of Swords. Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's trying to, mm, in a sneaky way. This, to me, also feels like a family dynamic where somebody's going to try to... Yeah, they're saying walk away, Scorpio. Um, with a family situation, try to get you to take a leap of faith or to open up or the next holiday season to try to get you to open up after you have not been on maybe speaking terms with certain people. They're doing it in a sneaky way.
So fair warning is forearmed when it comes to somebody here is going to try to be sneaky in order to get you to open up and reconcile with certain family members, get you to open your heart wide open. I'm combining the energy of the seven of swords and the 10 of pentacles, ace of wands, a fire starter, somebody who's a fire starter, meaning, I don't know, this, this, somebody is trying to come in as a flying monkey, yet yeah. they're trying to come in as a flying monkey to keep you mentally stuck or trapped, Scorpio. Oof. Man, I, I've seen the shift. I'm already seeing the shift. It, it's going from, you know, something of a coworker situation. And then there's this lover energy. Um, somebody's, you know, wants to talk about the future or build a family or somebody's going to sneak off and try to come and see you. And then I'm picking up this family dynamic where somebody's going to try to come in to rectify a situation, but they're a fire starter Keep you stuck or trapped. Could be a family member, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, there's more reconciliation energy with the star card. Let's go into the moonology. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. <clears throat> Full moon in Sagittarius will happen in June of 2023. Let's take a look at this. It's like between now and now and full moon in Sag. Look at the bigger picture. Or somebody is going to see the bigger picture about being with you. Page number 84. Okay. Full moon in Sagittarius. <clears throat> Look at the bigger picture. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over minute... Uh, I can't even see what this word is. Fretting over... Minutiae? I've never heard of that word. Doesn't even make sense. Can be counterproductive. Oh, well. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings. Even if you don't yet have exactly what you want, this card also is a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best and the universe could surprise you. The situation may have come around because you've been distracted. Be confident without being overconfident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. Find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. So, you know, Sag is all about, you know, it's the archer, you know, hitting your mark, hitting your target. Um, somebody could, you know, be making you a target right now, you know, in regards to family dynamics or situations or somebody's wanting to come and heal a connection here. Um, but I feel like there's a forewarning with that seven of swords. So looking at the bigger picture, if things have been off with your friends or your family members and it's just kind of like, mm, thanks, but no thanks. You know, somebody's wanting you to open your heart up and to, excuse me, my alarm's going off. Open your heart up, but 
everything is stemming from the seven of swords. This sneaky behavior. So either sneaky behavior with a coworker, this could be sneaky behavior with a potential suitor and or friends or family members, but I'm definitely strongly picking up on family members. They could be wondering what you're up to, especially if you haven't been posting on social media lately. So yeah, it's almost like a forewarning. Right now you just may need to maintain just focusing in on your goals, Scorpio. My awesome and beautiful Scorpios, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Until next time, you guys, take care.